Hello guys. So today I'm feeling better than usual, but I think it's also because I've been um, angry-ish, kind of, because I went on Twitter and Tumblr and Facebook and, you know, social media places that I should not go to, basically. And I got so mad because, especially Facebook, it's they're such a toxic community. And I come from League of Legends, so that's saying something. Hello there, everyone. Right now on Zen, it's 3.33 p.m. on Sunday, September 13th, 2020. For today's announcements, do we have a visitor? Yes! Okay, let's see what visitor we got. But anyways, um, we'll just check that, check that out first. Okay. Um... Lucy, you're the best. What are you up to right now? Something fun, I bet. You always have the greatest ideas. So I was thinking of you, and I guess I'm writing to ask if we can plan to do something together soon. Yours truly, Marina. Marina is adorable. Okay. So yeah. So let's go check on who it is first. And if it's, you know, someone that's worth uh, uh, getting. Oh god. Everybody hates you, ma'am. I know who you are. Jam bet. Anyways. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm pretty good on frogs. I think, I think the, in my uh, New Leaf village I had Ribot, which is I think the best frog. But, yeah, that's just me. So anyways, so today I was on Facebook, you know, browsing stuff. Which I'm starting to get really tired of Facebook. <sighs> so much. There's, it's just a really bad place. Full of old people. Makes me sad. Um, so, I, I follow this um, uh, linguistics Facebook page. I know that's kind of stupid and nerdy, but it's a linguistics Facebook page where they talk about linguistics and like words and like origins of uh, words and yeah, I like it because it's related to my interest but recently I realized how fucking self-absorbed the people on that page are. Not all of them, mind you. So like, the, the original poster is not that bad. So the owner of the page is a decent person. But, so he posted this picture. I put it on my Tumblr if you're recent, and I have a rant of it if you're interested, go visit my Tumblr. Um, but like, basically, the post was basically this picture. Uh, if I feel like editing, I'll put it on here. But, it basically says that, you know, uh, is a lady on Twitter asking who the hell decided how rendezvous is spelled. And because rendezvous is a very weird spelling. Because it's like a French origin, and you know how French people spell things really weird. Right? Well, it's an honest question. But someone in the replies went, Oh, monolinguals and your inability to realize that there's other languages in the world, you know? Basically talking down to this person, questioning the spelling of rendezvous. And calling them, you know, monolingual and stupid, basically. Like, they they use monolingual like an insult. So, let's see, what, what is this? Ooh, ooh, that is pretty. I like that. Okay, so anyways, they use monolingual like an insult. As if, if you only speak one language, you're stupid. Okay feel like there's a lot to unpack in the reasoning why you think like that. But, you know, let's ignore that. But there's people, you know, commenting on this meme post that says, oh yeah, monolinguals are stupid because they don't realize that words have different origins and uh, 
blah 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 and they don't realize that other languages exist it's like okay where are you getting that this girl literally all she said was rendezvous is spelled weird which it is and you're taking it to a different topic of you know it's like okay let's talk about this completely different subject basically it's, you know John millennia it's like Okay, so she said that she thinks rendezvous is spelled in a dumb way. So that makes her some close-minded monolingual idiot. You know, that clearly doesn't realize that French people exist. When in reality, it's just... Just that. She's saying that rendezvous is spelled weird. But like the linguistic... like. Crazy nerds in the comments like, oh, the rendezvous actually comes from this origin. It's actually an acronym. Remember, remember, remember. It's like you know, there's just like, not, not, not an acronym. It's like a conjugation of a bigger word or whatever with it, blah blah blah. And they're explaining it, but it's just like, okay, that's fine. But the other people are also saying basically that if you don't, if you question, the, the, they were saying that questioning the spelling of rendezvous makes you a monolingual idiot basically that doesn't know that other languages exist no french is a stupid fucking spelling mechanism we are we the, the thing is this this facebook page has always talked about how stupid french spelling is but they're taking the side of this fucking kathy person that was like oh monolinguals don't know the other languages i'm sure it's like, I don't know. I, if you guys want, if you're interested, go on my Tumblr. I posted, like, a long rant about, I hate, like, it's a thing that every group of people seem to have this sort of superiority gatekeeping kind of way of thinking, you know? And it's a very common issue. I think, I think it's a millennial thing, almost. Millennials do it more often than anything. Just like baby boomers, actually. You know, like the idea of, oh, uh, like um, people on YouTube do it, that comment on like 10 year old videos and they're like, oh, if you're here and you're, you're and you're not from TikTok, like this comment. It's like, oh my gosh, you're so old that you remember this video and you went to look it up. But people on TikTok are dancing to it, and that's how that's that's the only reason why they know this song. Therefore, I'm better than those people because I'm old as fuck. You know? I don't know. It's like this weird superiority thing. It's like, oh, same thing. It's like, oh, I know the origin, and you know exact, you know, linguistic etymology pathway of how the word rendezvous became a word, so for you to question it, you're so stupid. You know, like, yeah, well, you know, I like linguistics, but that doesn't mean I expect other people to fucking study linguistics on their free time, you know? In fact, I would, I'm more the type that's like, I bother people with my linguistic knowledge. So I'll be like, I'll tell my boyfriend, kick, 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 kick. did you know that the origin of this word is actually from this? And it's like, and then, and then he's just like, uh huh. And he's listening to me. I'm just like, I, I, but I'm not doing that because I think I'm so smart for knowing this. I just think it's fucking fascinating. There's a difference there, you know? I acknowledge that for him, it's not that interesting to learn about the, you know, linguistic origin of a word. But, I don't know. Everybody's such an asshole. Because the, per the original person, like, legitimately, they were just saying that the word rendezvous is spelled weird. And I think that's a legitimate statement. It is spelled weird. It's like, ooh, it's because you don't know French. It's like, okay, yeah, I don't know French. I'm actually not monolingual. I know two languages, so. I am, a, I know, I know English and I know Japanese, but I still don't know French. That doesn't mean I'm uneducated, right? <laughs> Somehow. 
Marcus. I'm not like quadlingual. I'm not like Trevor Noah who knows like seven languages. I wish I could be, but that's pretty hard, okay? I don't know. People are weird. It's literally a superiority complex. They think they're better than people because they know something. And it's kind of depressing. But then I went on Twitter, which is slightly better to be on. Um, and, uh... So... I follow very few people on Twitter. And Little Nas X is one of the few people. And he's always had this ongoing joke where he just tells people that he's gay. You know? And I don't think he's actually gay. But I think he doesn't because it's the, the reaction people give to him saying, Hey, I'm gay, is so much more interesting than him actually being gay. Like, I don't care if he's gay or not. It, but it's like, the, 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 the kind of people that like react to his like, statement yo guys I'm gay is so funny like at first it was like you know his followers were being you know, mean like oh you're gay well obviously I don't like your music now you know there are people like that that's what it started out as like basically weeding out the, the, the homophobic fans because you know he's a rapper so there's a little bit of homophobia ingrained in a lot of rap music such a squeaky voice, Amelia. For him as a rapper to just say, hey guys, I'm gay, it really tests, you know, his follower base. So anyways, he has that ongoing joke of basically telling people he's gay and people react to it. And it's hilarious to me. Because he doesn't actually care if people think he's gay. He could be gay. He doesn't care either way. It's not like he has to prove that he's gay. He just says it, and that's all that matters, and it doesn't matter in the, in the overall, right? But the reactions that people give are hilarious. For example, today, so he like tweeted at this girl that posted her graduation photo. I don't know if she's like a she she's she's, she's someone somewhat important. Uh, I don't know what she is, but she basically posted her graduation photo. And on it, little Nas X commented, "Let's go with like sparklies." Like, you know, basically saying congratulations. But somebody in the comments took it as um, him sexually, like, I don't know, appreciating the photo of the girl, which wasn't it at all. So she commented, you're too old for her, uh, whatever, because according to her, she's like 18 and you're 25. You're too old for her is what she's saying to this guy. And then the comments, his followers are like, uh, but he's gay. And she's like, why are you insulting him? That's what she said. Why are you insulting him? He's too old for her. So she doesn't realize that, you know, little Nax S is, has always said that he's gay. So they're not insulting her, him, like per se, you know, they're just repeating his joke and possibly true statement of being gay, right? That would defer the idea that, you know, he would be sexually interested in a younger woman, I guess. But the thing is, she kept on going and going and saying, he called the people, so he she said that the people calling him gay are being homophobic by insulting him like that. And I'm like, ma'am, by calling being gay an insult, you're actually being homophobic. <laughs> because they weren't insulting him. 
they were just making a statement about a possible sexuality of him. We still, I honestly really don't know if he's actually joking or if he's actually being serious because he just constantly will say that he's gay. So he probably could be gay, I guess. I don't know. He's probably gay. Like he actually, I think he actually is gay. It's just, he, he keeps it kind of vague, but he also dresses very gay. So who knows? But, um, I don't know. Anyways, so with the post. That put me in a better mood because everybody's making fun of this girl for basically trying to call Little Nas X some, like, um, pedophile for, you know, being like, Aaron, she's, you're too old for her. And then calling other people homophobic when she, in fact, is the one that's homophobic for thinking that gay is an insult in this situation. You know? It's just, it's just a funny situation. And people are weird. They're honestly weird. I don't know. If you want to listen to my rant about um, people with superiority complexes, uh, go on my Tumblr, read it. But if not, whatever. Um, I don't know. People are weird, guys. My point is that I love little Nas X because he's just fucking funny, man. Because he has, he represents what Gen Z is overall, you know? Like, um... Because the question isn't, is it... Is being gay good or bad? Or is it like, okay to be gay or something like that? That's not what he's saying. It's basically like, yo, I'm gay! And then he's just watching what the reaction is. And it's. It's almost like a test. Uh, it, it's testing. people. Like, if you have a strong view of one side or the other, you're part of the issue, actually. The, the vibe that I think Little Nas X is trying to motivate people to have is, hey, I'm gay. And then people should just be like, oh, cool, okay. Thanks for the information. And that should be the end of the conversation. It shouldn't be, you know... if Because if you say anything other than that, that means your opinion is too strong, you know? And you're trying to have a fight, basically. I guess it's okay for you to be like, oh, that's cool, man. Celebrate your gayness. It's like, okay. But that's like sometimes a little too much, you know? It's not something to celebrate. It's just something, it's a statement, you know? Just like how, like, we shouldn't be like, oh my gosh, Caitlyn Jenner is so great for coming out as a trans, you know, trans woman, I guess. Trans man. Okay. I forget which way it goes sometimes. I think it's trans man. Yes. To me, it doesn't really matter. Either way, it's like because it, when you spe when you have to specify is are they a trans man or are they a trans female? It's like it gets like weird and confusing because then you get, you're basically trying to like clarify they were a man that is now a female because they identify as a female, like biologically, blah blah blah. It's like I don't know. It's, that's all like. Yeah, because everybody wants to clarify that part, I guess. It's like, did you used to have a penis or not? did you not have a penis? You know? <laughs> That's the question. And it's just like, why do you want to know? <laughs> I don't want to think about other people's penises. Penises are gross. I 
Actually, no, vaginas are rocks, also gross, but less gross than penises. I don't know, both of them discharge stuff of different things, you know? Oh, that's another thing that's becoming like a bigger thing. I think, um, uh, Cardi B's WAP, you know? Wet ass keyword. Uh, that song is, um, I think, really taken off. Mainly because Ben Shapiro. <laughs> and I think that's so hilarious. Him criticizing her song has made it more popular. And I love that. Um, anyways. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, no. The world's weird. But overall, other than that, I am feeling okay. Is what I would like to say, I guess. I got really angry and passionate over, like, this linguistics Facebook page because, like, they're so snooty. You can't, you, you, you don't know what French is. It's like, of course they know what French is. Why can't you just be chill and be like... Like, when the person posted that, you didn't have to be like, oh, you're stupid for not knowing that other languages exist. No, you could have just been like, actually, it's a French origin. End of story. End of discussion. No. They had to be, like, a superiority con contest, like, you know, of, oh, you're stupid for not knowing what, or, like, what French, Greek origin that rendezvous comes from, you know? I don't know. Maybe it's just me, because I like over-explaining things that aren't asked. So if people say that kind of stuff, I love over-explaining it, with, but I don't look down on them. You know? I'm not- I'm happy that you don't know something. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can, I can explain something to them. So sadly, I didn't know exactly why Root Rendezvous was spelled weird. I just know that French words are spelled weird. You know? another one? I do. Okay. I don't know. I think people are just so angry. Like yesterday, um, me and Jason, Darkshot, was um, playing um, Wii and somebody kept using this like, this uh, acronym I guess that I'd never seen. Like, um, cause you know in League there's a lot of like chat speak. But this guy kept using the, the letters SD. And I was like, what is that? I'm not really sure what it stands for. It could stand for a lot of things. But he kept on pinging like random things and said SB or like he pinged. Like I was playing Sona on ARAM. So I bought a uh, Tear of the Goddess and some potions and a boot. Okay. Because that's pretty much all you could buy. Unless I was going to go lost chapter, whatever. Um, but he pinged that I bought boots and said SB. I was like, okay, do you not like that I bought boots as my starting item? Like, no, he just says SB. So, you know, I didn't really ask why he said SB, because I didn't really care. Because fuck it, boots are like a pretty standard item to get anyways, right? So anyways, especially on Sona. Like, but anyways, kept saying SB. And after a certain point, our um, our teammate Zed, like, just finally said, because like at this point this guy kept like complaining, like, oh, we don't have an ADC, we're gonna lose, we should just quit, and all you know, he's just like you know a freaking loser basically. 
So Zed finally was like, maybe if you stopped whining, <laughs> we would actually be able to play, you know? And then, you know, he kept saying, the other dude kept saying SP. So I finally asked him, what does SP mean, right? Because Zed said that... I don't know what the exact, like, line of questioning became, but basically, I think Zed knew what SP stand stood for, you know? And he says that this dude's Chinese, and I'm like, oh, okay. What does it stand for, though? And then the the person saying SB said, oh, it means you're stupid. And I'm like, oh, that's not nice, but okay. Thank you for the answer. Right, and then Zed kept saying that this Chinese guy. So later after the game, I look it up and it's, um, it's, it is actually a Chinese um, chat, chat kind of lingo. Um, SB is supposed to mean, like, stupid bitch, basically. Or I think it technically means stupid cunt, but the easier translation would be stupid bitch, since it's the same words. Same, I mean, same letters. So they were calling a, That person was basically calling the team, our teammates, stupid bitches the whole time. And then... But also claimed that he's not Chinese. So I don't think he actually knew what SB st uh, stood for. He just assumed it meant stupid, I guess. Or maybe he thought it meant stupid bitch, but I don't know. Because he said that it just meant stupid, which it didn't. You know? Calling someone a stupid cunt is very different than calling someone stupid. Yeah, anyways, actually, I don't know, I didn't, I didn't mean to bring that up really, actually, but it's just something funny that happened yesterday. It's like an observation, I guess. It's like, I feel like, even with League, like, people are just getting meaner for some reason. Really mean. No? For no reason, really. Like, right off the bat, this guy was already pissed off and calling people stupid for buying boots. <laughs> That's the other thing is like he's calling us stupid for buying boots, but not explaining to us why we're stupid for buying boots. Or you could buy a better item. Or he didn't, he, nothing like that. He's not like, oh, on Sona, you should have bought this instead of boots. No, it's nothing like that. Besides, I had there was nothing else I could buy. I could have bought fairy charm, maybe, like two fairy charms. Like what? Boots are three hundred gold. So I could have got. Armor? Like cloth armor or two fairy charms? Would that have been a better choice? No, because I wouldn't ha that wouldn't have built into anything that I was going to build. So I don't know. That's the thing. It's the same thing with the linguistics people. It's like, what is your point of calling other people stupid? Not to like actually improve someone else's intelligence but only for the sake of ridicule hey, that's what bothers me these people call the other each other stupid without trying to improve them they they're just calling them stupid just to call them stupid no other reason so it's, a, it's, a, it's literally a superiority thing they want to feel smarter than other people and the only way they sm feel smarter is by belittling others it's all the same kind of people but yeah, I ranted a lot on Facebook, um, on my on my Tumblr because like it's the same issue I had with the vegans, you know? Like vegans are like that too. I just didn't think linguistics nerds would be like that, you know? <sighs> so tired. <laughs> Why are 
are people so mean for no reason? You know? Marina, why are people so mean? And anyways. Yeah. That's been my morning pretty much. I did I had to have church this morning too. Which was eh. <gasps> Is it a sucker fish? Probably a sucker fish. We're gonna try. You're not leaving. Okay, so I guess that w th this was good. I was getting pissed off all morning as to why this bothered me so much. And it's because it's people doing things for the sake of ridicule and not for the betterment of the human race. You know? Because if you're... I, I think I have the same issue with, um... Um... Wisecrack. They made a video about, um, how Disney adults are stupid because they like Disney and then, like, they should just grow up and all that kind of stuff. And their entire argument wasn't saying anything other than just making fun of people that like Disney for, while being an adult. You know, they said stuff like, you had your chance when you were an adult, so as an adult you shouldn't be going to Disneyland. And it's just like, that is so... Like, that's such a hateful thing to say to people. As if, like, adults aren't allowed to go to Disneyland because they should have gone when they were a kid. It's like, not everybody's parents can afford to go to Disneyland, okay? But they should just give up, I guess, and grow up. I don't know. That was, that was the, another Twitter thing that I got mad at. It's like, it's coming from such a hateful place that... And a lot of people agreed with me. It's like, what's the point of this discussion? It didn't actually lead to anything. Like, it doesn't bring any enjoyment. It doesn't make anybody feel anything better. It just only brings negativity. Because once, it, well, for one side, on one side it brings hatred for a group of people that are just enjoying something. On the other side, it's shaming a group of people for enjoying something. It's like... Either way, the discussion is just bad. Like, now, if you were going to actually open up the discussion to make it more interesting, like, hey, Disney is a giant fucking corporation and is horrible, and you shouldn't uh, fund it with your money, okay, okay, that is a discussion I can agree with. But no, these people weren't doing that. They were just straight up saying, like, you're old, you shouldn't go to Disneyland. Because one of their arguments is that, oh, when I go to Disneyland with my kids, and I have to wait in line because all these adults want to go to Disneyland, it's like, are you serious? <laughs> you're mad because... It's basically like saying, why do these other people exist? Kind of thought process, right? I don't know. Anyways, I got my anger out, so I'm good for today. Be n and as usual, guys, just be nice to people. There's no reason to think you're better than other people, right? Like, honestly. Just shut the fuck up and be chill. Is that so hard? Be nice to people. Be good.